Hi, first graders. Today we're going to read another nonfiction book about animals. This one is called Dolphin Baby. It's by Nicola Davies, who also wrote our book, Surprising Sharks, that we read earlier this week. But it has a different illustrator. This one is illustrated by Britta Grandstorm. And you can see the pictures look a little different, right? They look more like they were made with paints or watercolors. So this story is a little different because even though it's a nonfiction book, it tells us a story about a baby dolphin. So Nicola Davies is teaching us a lot of different things about baby dolphins, how they grow up, what they need to learn. So while we're reading, let's think about what she's teaching us about baby dolphins. There aren't a lot of labels in this book, but you could think about how you might make a label in your picture of a dolphin. Look at that beautiful illustration. I think the illustrator used paints to make that. Dolphin baby. Tail first, head last. Dolphin pops out into the blue. He's creased and crinkled from being curled inside his mother. His tail flukes are floppy from being folded for so long. He's all brand new, but right away he swims up, up, up. Do you notice how Nicola Davies made some of the words bigger than the other words? That word is pops. And this word is, I bet you can read that with me, up, up, up. Now here's another word that she wrote differently. His blowhole opens when it touches the air and he takes his first breath. Mom is right beside him and they breathe together in perfect time. So this is the sound they make when they're breathing. Read it with me. When mom swims, dolphin knows that he must follow. Swimming and following are things baby dolphins are born knowing. Mom and dolphin rest together. Dolphin rubs his tummy on mom's round head. Mom strokes him with her flipper. She whistles to him, a whistle that is just hers. Her name in dolphin sound. Shreep! He whistles back, but for now his whistles make no sense. They're just baby talk. Others have arrived to take a look at newborn dolphin. They're all around. Their voices fill the water. They're curious about this new member of their group. But mom knows that what new babies need is peace and quiet. Soon, she swims away with dolphin close beside her. So pause for a minute and think about what are you learning about baby dolphins? What do you know about what they do when they're just born? You can tell your elephant or tell someone who's watching the video with you. In just a few weeks, dolphin has grown so much. His folds and creases are all gone. He's smooth and gray. He doesn't swim beside mom now, the way newborn babies do, but underneath her tail, like bigger calves. So baby dolphins are called calves. See how he's swimming under her? Now he's old enough to make friends. The youngsters play, chasing, carrying, showing off. But then mom whistles and dolphin knows he must go back. Think about how dolphins communicate with each other. They make sounds that sound like whistling. Playing can't take all day. Mom needs to swim off and hunt for food. Dolphin stays close, but sometimes mom zooms after fish too fast for him to follow. Or dives deep where he can't go. It's so dark at the bottom of the ocean. Dolphin hears her clicking. See how Nicola Davies wrote that word big too? Dolphin hears her clicking, using sounds and echoes to find food where it's too dark or deep for her to see. He clicks too. 
and listens to the echoes of his voice so he can hear mom's shape and movement when she's out of sight. Kind of looks like hammerhead sharks over there, doesn't it? Mom doesn't stay away for long. She whistles. What sound does she make? Shriep! When she's coming back, she brings a fish for Dolphin, still alive. He clicks at it to learn the echo shape it makes so that one day he'll be able to catch his own. Then mom eats it up in two quick bites. No need to share as Dolphin is still fed by her milk. Dolphins are mammals like us, which means that the babies drink milk from their moms. It has been six months since Dolphin popped into the blue. He's not a grown up yet, but he's not a baby anymore either, because today Dolphin has caught his first fish. Think about all the things that Dolphin has learned in the six months since he was born. Tell your elephant or someone watching with you, what are some of the things that Dolphin has learned? And when mom whistles her name sound, shriep, he doesn't whistle back in baby talk, but answers with a whistle that's his very own, ee soup. This whistle will be his for all his life. His name in dolphin. Look at that beautiful picture of mom and baby dolphin jumping in the sunset. So before I switch the camera here, I want you to look really carefully at these illustrations. There aren't a lot of labels in this book, but you can still see the body parts of the dolphin. Do you see how they have a tail and a long body and a fin on top and two fins on the bottom and kind of a round nose? So today on Seesaw, I wanna ask you to do the same thing that you did with your shark illustration. I want you to draw a picture of a dolphin and use labels to show me the different parts of the body. Think about what body parts you could show. You could show the tail, you could show the fins, you could show the nose, or even the water coming up out of their blowhole. Okay, I can't wait to see your illustrations. Have fun.